Yo, what up, people? Leah here from Creative Tech Lab. Today is Thursday, which means it's a three minute Thursday. Today, we're going to tackle what I think is the most useful shortcut in Final Cut Pro option bracket. Saves me a ton of time, especially trying to record these type of YouTube videos. Let's get into it. But first and foremost, welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is the YouTube channel to accompany our website, creativetechlab.com, where we do talk about all things creative. Big up to the 1,700 people that have subscribed thus far. I'm always humbled when you guys take the time to go down into the buttons down there and hit them up and subscribe to my channel so you can see what we have going on. This is probably your first time here though. If it is, welcome. This is Creative Tech Lab. As I mentioned before, this is a three minute Thursday. So yes, if that sounds like another YouTuber that does a thing with a time on a day, it's very much like that. We're gonna tackle a subject in three minutes when I start the timer. Today, like I said, it's real quick, talking about Final Cut Pro and a shortcut that shaves me a ton of time. All it is that I ask from you here as someone new is to give the video a chance, watch it in its entirety, and then if you like it, drop it a like, hit up all the other buttons. If you don't like it, let me know down in the comments why. But now, let's get into it. So, option bracket. I don't know where I came across this particular shortcut, but it saves me a ton of time, especially when doing some of these jump cups, which you may or may not have seen on these videos here before. But pretty much what it does is, instead of you having to blade cut, select, and then delete a clip, it actually just cuts and deletes it, everything after it in just one swoop. So let's jump into the software and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. All right, so three minutes on the clock starting right now, I'm gonna put my headphones on so I could hear what is going on on the screen record as it is that I'm doing this. So right now what I have is yesterday's video, a clip. So I was doing an intro, or if you're like me, had it running, messed up. So I wanted to come here and I'm about to get to where it is that I want to cut. Yeah. So what most people would do right now is they would select the blade tool by pressing B. They would cut, then they would A to get back the select tool, select and delete. A whole bunch of steps there, right? Or some people that are a little bit more savvy, they would command B and then select and cut. I'm gonna say you have to do none of those things. I get to where I want to cut right here and I just option bracket and it does the cut for me. Let me do that one more time. Option bracket and it completely cuts and deletes in one set there. That was to cut everything else before the timeline. Let me just come right here. And if I wanted to cut everything after the timeline, I'll just option right bracket and you could see it cuts everything out there for me. Now, the way I typically use this is, let's say something like this at this point in the timeline, is I was talking to it and I stopped talking there. I would actually cut right there and then I'd come to where it is that I start talking again. So instead of cutting, selecting and deleting right here, what I would do is I would just option bracket and then I would have my jump cut right there. But first and foremost, welcome to Creative. And boom, that's it. So yeah, it's that simple to cut and delete all in one swoop. I think it's the most useful shortcut it is there. I actually did another video on Final Cut Pro shortcuts back in December. That was 19 different clips. You could, I'll link that up here and at the end of the video and down below for everybody so you could see that. But however, after doing that video, I don't feel like enough attention was brought to this one person. One commenter was like, yo, this entire video was worth it just for this one clip. But if you're a YouTuber, video editor of any sorts, you know how many times you have to blade tool select and cut. This one definitely saved me a ton of time, so I feel I felt like it warranted its own video. So big up to all the Final Cut Pro users out there. As usual, 
if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead and drop it a like. Watch some other videos. I've actually done a couple of different Final Cut for Pro videos, so I'll link that playlist down below as well. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Thank you for tuning in to another 3 Minute Thursday, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.